On Tuesday, July 23rd, my team and I had the opportunity to strengthen our working relationship with the state of Maryland and Governor Hogan's administration. We had the honor of hosting my good friend, Steve McAdams, the executive director of the Governor's Office of Community Initiatives, the Honorable Wendy Peters, the special secretary of Smart Growth, Mike Morello, director of the Governor's Office of Performance Improvement, and Chris Carroll, chief of staff of the Department of Information Technology. This meeting built off of the work we established in previous meetings with members of his administration, including Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford, who we had the pleasure of hosting on multiple occasions, and Governor Hogan himself, who toured our Smart City booth at the 2018 MML Summer Conference. For our special guest, we shared a comprehensive presentation on the topic of smart cities. We discussed our definition of smart cities, the value they bring, while citing examples of successful smart city transformations from across the world, and finally, the positive impact our transformation has had on our residents, businesses, and the government. One thing that was absolutely clear during our meeting is that there were a lot of commonalities between our priorities and initiatives and the Hogan administration's priorities and initiatives. For example, we both placed a premium on improving cross-department coordination, collaboration, and decision-making by knocking down silos in government. This is one of the main reasons why we created the CGS. In addition, the Hogan administration prioritizes performance improvement, and similarly, we have prioritized improving effectiveness and efficiencies of government operations. Our public engagement department and our emphasis on creating a citizen-centric city mirrors many of the initiatives overseen by the Governor's Office for Community Initiatives. Finally, we both make use of IBM Watson Artificial Intelligence, in our day-to-day -day operations. The Hogan administration utilizes AI in their HR department, and we utilize the technology as a means to engage with the community. Following our formal presentation, we took our guest aboard the Sea Pleasant Police Department Mobile Command Bus and showcased many of our police department's public safety assets and tools, including the drone program. We discussed how these assets and many of our other investments, including our 5G and healthcare initiatives, are positioning C. Pleasant, a smart city of excellence, and the world's first authentic small smart city as an invaluable regional and state asset. Moving forward, we identified and discussed several opportunities to build on our partnership and opportunities to work together for the betterment of Maryland. Signing off from Sea Pleasant, Maryland, I am Eugene W. Grant, the Mobile Mayor.